Hello, fourth graders. Today we are ready to start our next unit in social studies. And this is all about the state that we call home, New Hampshire. This is going to be a longer unit for us because throughout the unit, not only will we be learning facts about the state we live in, but we will also be creating a Google slideshow of information all about the state of New Hampshire. Very exciting stuff. So this is New Hampshire, a fourth grade social studies unit. Here we have our unit standards. So that just kind of talks about what kinds of things that we are going to learn. But let's get started with an introduction. The Constitution of the United States of America outlines our government. The government is based on federalism, meaning that power is shared between the federal and state government. One of those 50 states is our home, New Hampshire. So here we see a map of the United States of America. In red is our home state of New Hampshire. You'll no notice that our state is located in the Northeast region of the United States, also considered New England. We border Massachusetts to the south, uh, Maine to the east, Vermont to the west, in Canada to the north. New Hampshire, the granite state. New Hampshire, stone walls, mill towns, poor soil, and independence. The motto of New Hampshire is live free or die. They were among the first colonies to rebel against England, and they haven't been easy to control ever since. New Hampshire takes its independence seriously. It still doesn't have an income tax, and it's kept its town meetings from colonial days. People come to New Hampshire because they want quiet and beauty, and sometimes because they want to do things their own way. They want a place where there's still room to be themselves. They want a place where one vote counts. That's New Hampshire. So we live in a place that is actually very different than many other states. And really thinking about a place where one vote counts makes me think of this, especially during election season. <clears throat> New Hampshire, as we know from our government unit, is a very small state, and we don't have many electoral votes. But candidates come here because we have the first primary in the nation. It's very easy to meet presidential candidates who will move on to become president. Not every state has that opportunity. That is something that's uniquely New Hampshire. And as we'll learn as our unit continues, there are many things about New Hampshire that make us unique. So let's see a quick little introduction and overview about our state. Oh, wow. Well, buckle in. Get ready for fun and learning. This is a homeschool pop U.S. States video. In this video, we are learning about New Hampshire. That's right, we are going to be learning about the state of New Hampshire. The first thing we want to learn about New Hampshire is where it is. If you don't know where New Hampshire is, then everything else that you learn won't matter as much because when you want to visit, you won't know where to go. Okay, here is a map of the United States. Do you happen to know where New Hampshire is? Where is the state of New Hampshire? Do you know? Yeah, New Hampshire is up here in the northeast corner of the United States. New Hampshire is in a region of the United States called New England. Isn't that interesting? Let's take a closer look at the region of New England to see the other states that are also a part of it along with New Hampshire. The northernmost state of New England is the state of Maine. Just below Maine is the state of New Hampshire. That's the state that this video is all about. Then to the west of New Hampshire is the state of Vermont. Then just below New Hampshire and Vermont is Massachusetts. And below Massachusetts are two states, Rhode Island and Connecticut. 
In all, there are six states that are a part of New England, and New Hampshire is one of them. New Hampshire is just below Maine in the New England region of the United States. Awesome! Well, now that we know where New Hampshire is, let's look at two nicknames of the state of New Hampshire to learn even more about this cool state. New Hampshire has two main nicknames that we're going to be looking at in this video. The first is the Granite State. The second nickname is the White Mountain State. First, why is New Hampshire called the Granite State? That's a really good question. Well, New Hampshire is called the Granite State because there are so many granite quarries in the state. There are so many. Granite quarries are places where people extract granite from the earth. The granite is cut into larger slabs and removed from the quarry. Granite is a very strong, durable type of rock. Granite is an igneous rock that can be gray, white, or pink in color. Granite is an important type of rock to build with. In fact, granite is used in building monuments, different buildings, flooring, all different types of uses. There might even be some granite in your home. So New Hampshire is the granite state because there's so much granite excavated there from the granite quarries. Okay, well why is New Hampshire called the White Mountain State? That's another great question. Why is New Hampshire called the White Mountain State? Well, there's a mountain range in New Hampshire called the White Mountains. The White Mountains cover one-fourth of the state of New Hampshire. That's a ton of New Hampshire. And they're some of the most rugged and tough mountains in New England. The most famous mountain in the White Mountain Range is Mount Washington. Mount Washington is the highest peak in the Northeast United States. And Mount Washington is the most famous mountain in the White Mountains, this incredible mountain range that takes up one-fourth of New Hampshire. So, New Hampshire is called the Granite State, and the White Mountain State. If anyone says, I'm going to the Granite State, or I'm going to the White Mountain State, they are talking about New Hampshire. Wonderful. Now we are going to look at the flag of the state of New Hampshire. The flag of the state of New Hampshire is a blue flag with the state seal in the middle. New Hampshire was one of the original 13 colonies. That year, 1776, is when New Hampshire became a state of the United States of America. The boat that's featured in the center of the flag and of the state seal is the USS Raleigh. That is a ship that was built in 1776. It was sponsored by the Continental Congress for the brand new American Navy. The state seal is surrounded by a laurel wreath which represents honor and victory and there are nine gold stars that surround the state seal as well which represents the fact that New Hampshire was the ninth state to join the United States. Awesome! Now we are going to locate two places on the map of New Hampshire. The first place is the city of Concord. Concord is the capital of New Hampshire. Then just south of Concord and a little to the east is the city of Manchester. Manchester is the largest city in New Hampshire. Alright, here is our final question. What is the state bird of New Hampshire? Huh, what is the state bird of New Hampshire? 
The state bird of New Hampshire is the purple finch. That's right, the purple finch. Purple finches are cute little birds that love sunflower seeds, millet, and thistle. Purple finches are mild-mannered birds. They're not very aggressive like a lot of other birds, which has hurt their population because they don't fight for food as aggressively as other birds do. So it has hurt their population, but there are still a lot of purple finches in New Hampshire. Thanks for watching this homeschool pop video on New Hampshire. Wow. That definitely gave a great overview all about our great state of New Hampshire. However, I could definitely tell that the gentleman in the video is not from New Hampshire. Does anyone know why? It has to do with when he talked about our capital. So here in New Hampshire, our capital is Concord. Now we say Concord, even though it's spelled C-O-N-C-O-R-D, because we have accents, believe it or not, we have very distinct ways of speaking. The gentleman in the video said Concord. Now, when we look at the word, that is how you phonetically say it. But here in New Hampshire, we say Concord. All right, well, that is all for our introduction to our New Hampshire unit in social studies. Tomorrow, we're gonna to start learning about some national celebrations, and then we'll learn more about things that are unique to just New Hampshire. All right, that is all for today. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.